So let's go to the edit event, I'll double click it. And of course, when this button is clicked, we want to open the modify appointment form. But we only want to open that form if the user actually selected any row of the appointments that the user wants to modify. So let's wrap it in an if statement and we'll do dgv appointments dot selected rows and we'll count them again and if the count is greater than zero then we will proceed. So as usual we of course need an appointment ID so we know what appointment we are going to be modifying. So it's gonna be a variable appointment ID which is gonna be short and it will come from the appointment selected rows value inside the cells and the cell itself is going to be of index 0 because the ID is the first cell in the row. And since the ID is a short, we'll have to convert that to short and we'll go to our DGV appointments and go to the selected rows, the index of 0 because we want the first row or the only selected row that we have and then we go to the cell with the index of 0 which is the ID and we'll grab the value from it. So this is very much the same what we did for the customers. And now we can open the form. So I'll create a new instance of that. So it's going to be a new FRM modify appointment. And that form will have an appointment ID just like we had for the customer. Well currently we don't have it there so I'm going to Solution Explorer and open modify appointments and just double click it. And I'm going to add a property appointment ID. So it's going to be a public property appointment ID and it's going to be of type short. So this is going to be the ID of the appointment that we will modify inside this form and we'll pass it to this form from our appointments form. So we'll go to the appointment ID inside that form so frm.appointment ID will be the one that we grabbed over here from the row. So that's gonna be the APPT ID. So we are passing the ID and now we can open the form. So frm.show dialog. And when we return back to the appointments form, we want to update the grid view so it shows the modified record as well. So we'll go to our DGV appointments and select the data source or assign a new data source. That's coming from the appointment dot items. So this is the list of all appointments, but this time it will also include the updated appointment. Now, if the user did not select any row, so then we cannot, of course, open the form and we'll simply display a message telling the user that we need to select a row to modify it. So this is the edit event. And finally, we need to do the delete event.